energy needs by the end of the century. And as Radio Netherlands TV reports, a group of engineers has devoted countless hours to restart the biggest steam engine in the world. A technical miracle, the biggest steam engine in the world. It was built in Great Britain in 1848. For 200 years, the Dutch had been discussing plans to drain the Harlemmer Lake used by fishermen and trading ships to make a living. But in 1849, three land drainers started pumping water out of the lake. People were tired of the life-threatening storms. It was the beginning of a large-scale drainage by steam power. Only the crookiest land drainer was saved from modern times. It still has its original engine and water pumps. It was able to move 250,000 liters a minute. The American Society of Mechanical Engineers decided this machine had to be listed as a landmark in history. Year after year, professional engineers have been working on it with such dedication, they've started to love the machine. That's a good term, we love it, yes. Why? Because it's such a magnificent machine, so old. It marks uh, the peak of an engineering development uh, in pumping engines uh, that one can't help being thrilled by uh, uh, having the privilege of working on such an engine. To try and restore a, a, a complicated mechanical equipment like this, you must be a complete freak. Uh, freak is the, is the word, perhaps, yes, steam freak. <laughs> but we are quite serious at, at this machine. So it's not only freaking. This is the only steam engine in the world in which you can take a walk. And although it has been out of order for the last 58 years, the engineers are convinced they will eventually put it back in operation again. Steam is out of the question, but uh, it is, uh, we think, possible to use water pressure in a hydraulic system to move the engine again. And that is what we are preparing plans for. The Harlemmer Lake was drained by three of these land drainers. In 1933, the machine became redundant because of new draining techniques. Are you um, impatient to see the arms work again? Oh, yes, we are, certainly, <laughs> yes. Why? Uh, well, because all we've got now is uh, a short piece of film where we can see the engine moving, and we would like to see it in reality. Of course, they need a lot of money to see the arms of the machine move again. They will need close to half a million dollars. But with this designation, the chairman of the Crookius hopes companies are willing to help. With all the attention we may receive now from international public, we will raise the funds to uh, come to uh, a good restoration of the hull. The Krukius land drainer is close to a full rebirth. Without it, Schiphol Airport near Amsterdam would never have existed. Wouter van der Horst, Radio Netherlands Television, for the CNN World Report. It is.